morning, Pastor Steve here, Hebrews 9, 27 and 28. And it is appointed for man to die once, but after this the judgment. So Christ was offered once to bear the sins of many. To those who eagerly wait for him, he will appear a second time apart from sin for salvation. Charles Spurgeon said, a man dies once, and after that everything is fixed and settled. And he answers for his doings at the judgment. One life, one death, then everything is as weighed and the result declared. After this the judgment, it says. So Christ comes, he dies once, and after this, for him also the result of what he has done, namely the salvation of those who look for him. He dies once and he reaps the fixed result, according to the analogy of the human race of which he became a member and representative. We're it. We don't die and live and die and live, facing an eternal reckoning some number of lives down the road. This life is it. Then we face judgment. This means that there's no second chances beyond the grave. Now is the time to choose for Jesus Christ, because when we die, we simply face the judgment. It's about life and death, not about good and bad, even. It says here, he will appear a second time apart from sin for salvation. The focus of Jesus' first coming was to deal with the sin problem through his atoning sacrifice on the cross, but now has dealt with the sin problem completely. He comes again apart from sin for, for the rescue of his people, to those who eagerly await for him. It is assumed that all believers will be looking for Christ, will be eagerly awaiting for him. It's a sad case that this assumption doesn't always play out as true. We often spend more time fighting over the when than enjoying the truth of his return. Again, Spurgeon said, it ought to be a daily disappointment when our Lord doesn't come, instead of being, as I fear it is, a kind of foregone conclusion that he's not coming just yet. Are you looking for the coming of the King? Are you ready? Have you accepted the free gift of salvation without relying on your own works? If not, what a better day to seek him than today. You ponder that, Pastor Steve.